the last status update meetings is external. Now in an external, I would recommend that you get your key team members as well, because there might be a lot of questions and sometimes they become too technical. So you get the certain group of people who understand things. And in external, mostly it's with the client, your customer. It could be your internal customer that is within the company, or it could be an external vendor altogether, right? Now, remember, they have the key of this status update is to give them the reassurance, not assurance, because they already got the assurance and gave you the project. You have to give them the reassurance that their work is in the safe hands. At the same time, you have to raise risk and issues that you feel are out of your control and you need support. The key is one important thing is that you have to wet your presentation with your one level up and the PMO group. So that again, the same thing, it's been aligned because many times it happens is that not every discussion about your project or program happens with you, okay? So make sure that is in place. Same thing, <coughs> there would be a template, most likely, follow it through, status update, give them the status update, raise risks and issues, understand what are the risks and issues that can be handled internally within the organization and it's not impacting the schedule and the cost. The two things that they are bothered about is the schedule, the number one thing most likely, external customer, and the second would be the cost. If it's not going to bother and if you can handle it well, probably you don't have to share it immediately, okay? But if it's persistent, then yes. So again, make sure that you have to work it with your one level up and understand your data well, okay? And the last,